Hey everyone, you're watching Kick Back and Chat with Amber Pickens. Now, even though we're going through quarantine, I wanted to make sure that we had the opportunity to interview different artists and see what they're doing while we're locked down and spread some inspiration and some encouragement. So today I'm super excited because I get to interview an amazing dancer, choreographer, and member of the Dallas Black Dance Theater, Ms. McKinley Willis. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. This is definitely giving me a lot of encouragement and inspiration. Yeah, for sure. So how has it been for you? What have you been doing during this global lockdown? All right. I've been, well, to start, um, at the very top, we had just gone on, had our week for spring break, which was a little earlier than everyone else. Um, so we had a we had a performance scheduled for Saturday, um, and on the Thursday of our spring break, we were like, um, "Our like what's gonna happen with our show? Because we hear all these things are shutting down, including the NBA." And I was like, "Wait, what? The NBA is shut down. We can't right. possibly." And so eventually, like at the very last minute, our show got canceled. Um, so our, our spring break turned into much longer than we anticipated. Um, uh, and we were preparing for a long stretch of like performances because, um, at Dallas Black, we have, that's pretty much the most dense part of our performance, um, schedule pretty much from March to May. That's mm -hmm. like, we're on stage the entire time. So probably look forward to the most. So, um, since we were supposed to be back on some kind of schedule, um, and we didn't have that, I decided to start hosting. I just did it trial, tr uh, trial basis. Um, I did an Instagram and Facebook live ballet class on Friday. On the, the I'm first student day. of, I love. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just Amber has show, uh, sent some videos, and I, some of the combinations are really hard. <laughs> they are very hard. <laughs> Let me tell you, Miss McKinley does not play y'all. <laughs> and you always, you'll have, you'll be like, do do y'all want us? Do you want me to do it again or not? I'm like, I need to do it again because I'm not in shape, and so <laughs> I don't want to do it again. So I need to go do it again. No, and that's the thing. I was like, and well, at least y'all can do it in the comfort of your home. I look crazy on film trying to do these. <laughs> combinations but um I, I was just I at the time I didn't know like how long this would last I was like you know I need some kind of normalcy just to keep me on some kind of track because then I'll get like I'll get really down and like not have any coordination to my day so I just quickly said okay I decided to commit myself to doing um a class on Wednesday, Friday. I had done a poll to see if people would prefer a ballet and a, or a modern class, and I literally got a 50-50 split. So I said, okay, let me do ballet one day, modern another day. And it really just gives me uh, pushing inspiration to do it because I've learned that um, <laughs> this is terrible, I think, but at the same time, it's superhuman. Um, I needed the motivation of being present in front of people to actually do it. So for me, taking other virtual classes are not as appealing to me as teaching a virtual class. But I know there are some people that are the complete opposite. They'd rather take a virtual class than teach. So it, it works uh, on both ends, but it's just yeah. knowing yourself and um, cope. But yeah, I've been doing the classes. Um, I've taken time. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I know you were also talking about your movement motivational classes. Talk talk more about that because I think that's so wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So movement motivation. Um, I I'm not doing it on. I'm doing it on the Zoom platform, and I created it because my parents are um, they're middle aged and they don't move too much and i really wanted to give them something or an option 
for them to do something in the morning before they get their day started. Because I know for me, even though it's hard getting up and getting to a class, um, it's I, I find it beneficial more than anything um, when I'm able to get up or once the workout is over, I feel motivated. I feel um, ready to start the day. Um, so I want to give the opportunity to people who may not be used to doing that too often to do it on a digital platform because they just have to move from their bed to the next room or if it's still in their bedroom setting up a mat and doing it there exactly. but, um, but yeah I've been doing movement motivation for the past couple of weeks so I started this a little later than um, my Instagram live classes but um, I originally was doing it just on Mondays as a trial basis but I've expanded to Monday Wednesday Friday at 7 a.m. Ooh, early. <laughs> yeah, it's early. Well, because a lot of people start work or have to be logged on if they're working. That's so true. At 8 o'clock. And I actually asked my mom, I said, Mom, what time do you start work? She said, 8 o'clock. I said, okay, I can make this a 45-minute class so that you can go from 7 to 7.45. You get a 15-minute buffer before you start your work day. And I know if you're anything like me, <laughs> you're probably while you're doing your work you're probably cooking your breakfast and multitasking <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are multitasking me. that's me i'm like dee -dee 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 -dee. Dee -dee -dee -dee. doing everything i know even sometimes during your um your dance classes when we're doing warm-up because sometimes i might have done a warm-up before you actually start live so when y'all are doing a plank or something if i've done it before then i'm like trying to clean my kitchen or something i'm like okay what can i catch up on <laughs> while they're planking i can be doing something else real quick and then hop back into class you know what amber and actually i warm up before all of my classes too I usually will start um, because we've started company class too. Um, oh, via, wow. Yeah, so we've been doing that at, every morning at 10. So some mornings, like let's say um, on a Wednesday morning, if I would have done a movement motivation class early that morning, or if, if there's no movement motivation going, I'll have my own yoga session. Mm -hmm. So I'll do my yoga session. And then I'll take my ballet class or take whatever class is provided from the company. And then about an hour later is when I teach my class. So I've already <laughs> done like a few things before I get to um, that class. But usually that's when I'm the happiest. Like I'm like, wow, movement is really healing. It really and is. it's really been, uh, it's been difficult to get my, because my parents, like I love my parents, but I really want them to be as healthy as they can in this situation. So um, I'm just trying to get people, even if they don't love movement, I just at least want them to experience the benefit of it yeah. so that they can love it, you know. For sure. I've been the same way with my mom too. <laughs> like just trying to make sure we stay active because I think the the beauty in this quarantine time and this lockdown is that we all get to rest and reset, but we don't want to get so far left of that, that we're on, the, on that side of resting, that we're not still doing things to just stay active and healthy and in shape. So I think it's good. I, I totally support the platforms that you're creating and this um, entrepreneurship mindset that you're, that uh, mindset that you're creating for yourself during this time too. I think that's so beautiful. Thank you. Um, and just the, I'm, I've seen like a lot of people talk about um, shifting, like, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to start a whole business while you're in quarantine. It's okay to just rest. And, blah, blah. and I completely 100% agree. But I think what people don't understand is it's like if you are if you are for the first time investing in yourself and investing in um, taking care of your psyche and taking care of your health, that is a completely different territory for a lot of people. So for mm -hmm. some people, that and it is okay and it still counts as um, investing in something new and developing a new skill because mm -hmm. you're making something a part of your routine that will hopefully hopefully transition into your 
uh, your career and it could be add on yeah. to your career when we get out of this lockdown, which I th and that's why I think it's great. And like you said, for some people, it is about a time of rest and they, and they had the space to do that. But for yeah. us, for the artists, we have to find a good balance of resting, but still finding a way to, to survive financially. So yeah, it's definitely important. You're inspiring so many people to to continue to do it, to stay active and to think just create these new ways to survive well, i mean we're making it do what it do but yeah that's my last note just take care of yourself that's what you know how well thank you so much mr kenley willis the amazing dancer choreographer one of my best friends my sisters hope you have a beautiful day you stay safe yes ma'am thank you